it is time to finally go over the full list that was revealed yesterday, March 6th, on the official WWE 2K site. Get on the express train. <laughs> All right. All right. I know you guys are ready, man. You guys already saw the list. You guys want to see what I think about it. Um, it's going to get a little dirty, man. We're going to get our hands dirty talking a little shit here because honestly, I wish the DLC was better, but that's just me, man. I always want more than just characters. I always want more than just a supercharger mega boost cheese that they add to make you feel like you're getting your money's worth. But here it is revealed yesterday on Twitter, on the socials, everywhere. It's crazy. We have five DLC packs listed here with the release date for each one. And I am very disappointed to see that Bray Wyatt is all the way down at the bottom of the list, but we're going to get to him here shortly. Definitely a huge Debbie Downer. I'm excited for everything else we've seen, but this is probably one of those things that I'm not that excited about, honestly. All right. At the end of the day, I wish the DLC included Showcase. I wish it included, uh, you know, more Legends and not just a lot of NXT superstars. But look, for the first DLC pack, what we're looking at here is ultimately one of the better packs of the entire list. We got the Steiner Row Pack dropping April 19th. Scott Steiner and Rick Steiner, which we guessed he would be in the game, right? Since they got them in the super cards. It's not the WCW version of Scott Steiner, unfortunately. But, you know, Braun Breaker is an NXT killing it. So I, I honestly assumed he'd be there. And then we got BFAB as a manager only. We got Top Dollar and Ashante Adonis. Now, we'll just leave it at that. I'm just going to move my head like this and leave it at that because honestly, I'm not too thrilled about the pack besides Scott Steiner and Rick Steiner, honestly. I don't hate Top Dollar, but damn, I wanted a little more than just that. And then for May 17th, we got the pretty sweet pack. We got Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows along with Tiffany Stratton. Elton Price and Kit Wilson. Now, a lot of these superstars are superstars we felt should have been in the game or at least just updated into the game. The fact that we're paying for it and it's just a big roster update with no special legends like Dusty Rhodes, Ric Flair that honestly, I don't know what's up with Rick, but whether it's a contract issue or not, we felt we needed a little bit more star power. All right. Now, I am happy we got the original club in the game for sure. Always a good time with them. But that's May 17th, so you're already talking about waiting two months to play with them. All right? And the first one, April 19th, that's one month away. And then DLC 3? Oh, man. We got Harley Race, Ivy Nile, Wendy Chu, Tony D'Angelo, and Trick Williams? Race to NXT pack? They're all loaded with NXT characters. How are they saying race to NXT? What's going on here? There's a lot of NXT cheese in this whole DLC. And that's coming June 14th. And the reason I'm bulldozing down the list is because honestly... <laughs> Revel with Wyatt pack. We got Bray Wyatt July 19th. Are you kidding me? The game is dropping March 14th, and we got to wait till July? Till July? Bray Wyatt, Zeus, Val, rest in peace, Zeus, Valhalla, Joe Gacy, and Blair Davenport. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And don't even get me started. You're right, Duda. BFAB is not even a, a, a roster spot. It's a manager only. What is that? And then for bad news, you pack. We got Eve Torres, Wade Barrett, Damon Kemp, Andre Chase, and Nathan Fraser. That's dropping August 16th. So in order to get the complete version of WWE 2K23, you need to spend $100. But it's not just to get bonus content. It's to get the people that should have already been in the game for the most part. This is insane. Insane. So it's not all bad news. Even though bad news Barrett is here, right? It's not all bad news. There is some sprinkles here and there that we can get excited for and get behind. Ultimately, it's not... 
the worst case scenario, but some of us thought DDP would be there. Fingers crossed that they would have had Dusty. We just expected so much more with the clues and teasers that they gave that it kind of took us for a spin. A lot of people wanted Carlito and expected Carlito at this point. We were just reading into the lines and just completely dead wrong about the season pass. And this is a season pass that, might I add, costs for like $40. If not, each pack goes for like $10. So it's unfortunate we need to buy the full edition of the game to get the complete experience. This is the season pass at the end of the day. It's an option. They're not forcing us to pay for it. It's just an overwhelming amount of NXT and not a whole lot of, you know, star power in it. But it is what it is, man. We got the information we all wanted and needed to hear. Sometimes it's not exactly what we want. But again, there is some W's in the DLC list. And I've been saying this all season long, waiting for the new game. All right. Waiting for the new game, I've said. When you can sit down, look at 2K23, and list more W's than L's, then we won the battle. So I see more W's and L's with the DLC. You know, we got the Steiner brothers back. You know, Top Dollar, if you guys don't like them, I get it, but it's cool because they're on SmackDown. We got the OC in here. A lot of people love Tiffany Stratton, so I see some... You know, love with the women's division there. We got another legend in Harley Race, which I'm not too uh, thrilled with. But, you know, we got pretty deadly. Exactly, Stunna. You know, we did get Bray Wyatt. We got Zeus as that bonus celebrity character. You know, we did get Wade Barrett after all. We're just not getting the characters at the exact time that we want them. And we don't understand why this is happening. But at the end of the day... We got more W's, and that's just the only way to look at it. I'm not going to sit here and just call it mid or just trash and bash. I'm going to sit here and say, you know what, man? It may not be worth the full 40, but at least with the deluxe edition or the icon edition, you feel like you're saving some money despite most of these people being in the game or should have been in the game, should I say. But, you know, take it with a grain of salt, man. Take it with a grain of salt. We got more W's and L's. That's all I'll, I'll say, and I'll keep it at that. Again, wait for a, a sale price. Don't buy it all at launch, and you could save a few dollars and feel a lot better about yourself at the end of the day, <laughs> honestly. But hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hit that like button if you haven't already. It helps the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. You guys are awesome.